If I can offer five valuable trading tips, I'd have to say tip number one, neutral environment is huge, is extremely important. Uh, we want to avoid uh, environments where there's a lot of distraction, especially when we're dealing with a new pup. Uh, tip number two, we want to make sure that if we are going to use food in our training system, in our training, we want to make sure that we use food that's, uh, that's eye value to the dog. So if your dog dislikes dry kibble, don't use that. If your dog loves uh, you know, hot dog wieners, you'll go crazy for that. That's what you want to use, all right? So I value food reward for tip number two. Uh, tip number three, I'd have to say that, again, when we touch base on food, uh, you want to make sure that you train your dog when he's got an empty stomach. So if your dog had a meal, you know, 30 minutes prior to training, and, you know, don't think that your dog's going to want that food, right? Your, your, your hot dog bit, he's not going to want that. I mean, he's training on a, uh, on a full stomach, so it's, it's going to totally play against you. Uh, tip number four, I'd have to say that when we speak of sessions, I think it's very important that we have multiple short sessions throughout the day instead of one long session. And again, key for that is we want the dog to be able to sustain focus on us. Um, dogs generally can't sustain focus on us for an hour. You know, they do much better when they're training sessions, you know, like cut short, five, ten minutes, and, you know, and so on. Uh, tip number five, I'd have to say again, when we are uh, trying to select a time of day. I think it's very important that we train our dog when our dogs are most active, most alert. So don't train your dog when your dog is tired uh, or when your dog is, is, you know, is feeling down in the dumps, right? So those are my five tips for you. So here again, my five tips. Tip number one, we want to make sure it's a neutral environment. Tip number two, we want to make sure that we use I value food rewards. Tip number three, avoid a full stomach on the part of the dog. Uh, tip number four, short multiple sessions throughout the day. And tip number five, we want to make sure that we select the time of day when your dog uh, is most active, it's alert.